Well, good morning everyone. Oh, what a cold one today. Oh, another minus five. Oh, we do rough it on Camilla and I. So yeah, don't forget to uh, like, subscribe and share, please. Anyway, um, yeah, enough of the advert. Yeah, quick, flip you around. Look at that, guys. We're working this weekend in the Woodford Valley and it's an absolute winter wonderland for Camilla and I. Yeah, so we're working from the roadside today in the Woodford Valley and uh, yeah, another cold one. Starting to think I should have recorded this yesterday. At least the sun was out this time yesterday. So uh, yeah, link to uh, when the sun was out yesterday. Nice. Yeah, so we had an amazing day yesterday. Um, there's a sparrowhawk, basically, in the area. And, uh, yeah, discovered it yesterday. It hunts through the hedgerows around here. There are a lot of small passerine birds in the area. So it's obviously found a little hot spot for it to hunt. So uh, I've been charting its progress this weekend. And uh, yeah, we've had a couple of stone chats. They seem to be uh, still intact, despite the uh, Sparrowhawk's best efforts. It was hunting in the field. It literally just sat in this field for half an hour, uh, which was quite interesting in itself, because the field was pretty frozen. And I thought it must be getting pretty cold in there. But um, anyway, yeah, it just sat in the field waiting I suppose to pounce on some passing birds as uh, so there are quite a few flocks there's flocks of uh, corn bunting uh, there's yellow hammer um, whew, got a very cold yellow hammer yesterday and uh, yeah all sorts of things kicking around so uh, yeah it keeps the sparrowhawk very well interested and uh, also there's a kestrel which was uh, yeah, another thing yesterday kestrel and um, <clears throat> also, first thing I got yesterday morning, of course, was the red kites in this area. Absolutely beautiful red kite action, as usual, in this area. So, uh, yeah, they're perching in some bigger trees at the moment. They normally perch up in this sort of area, but I think they must be in some bigger cover. And anyway, I've already seen a red kite flying down the road today, looking for roadkill on the way here. So, uh, yeah, that's what they do. Amazing. Whew. Anyway, yeah, yesterday. So, uh, yeah, it all kicked off yesterday. I um, must admit, I got the closest I've ever come to a sparrowhawk. And um, I was all, I was videoing a bit of a video in the valley. And the sparrowhawk flew towards me. Anyway, of course spun the camera towards the sparrowhawk and um, well didn't expect to get anything but of course we got the Sony A1 on here so uh, unbelievably yeah amazing um, even took a couple of stills from the video because with a 600 millimeter uh, it was probably about a quarter of the frame filled the shot absolutely amazing so uh, yeah linked to four seconds slow-mo extracted from this uh, 30 minutes of rubbish 30 seconds of rubbish unbelievable sparrowhawk in flight as it goes past with a couple of wing beats 
Oh. Well, a sparrowhawk has just flown into the tree. Uh, well, this group of trees at the bottom of the valley. Anyway, it does this. It's got a sort of circular motion. So hopefully it'll be flying up towards us again soon. Um, I didn't have the bag hide on yesterday, but I've put the bag hide on today just for a bit more camo. I must stand out like a sore thumb as it is in this um, condition. This should be white, but um, if it ever warms up, um, perhaps I might match the background a bit better. But uh, anyway, the sparrowhawk hunts very low over the hedgerows. And I'm not sure, even though I didn't use the bag hide at all yesterday, I'm not sure it's even seen me because it's probably concentrating so much on the ground. But um, anyway, for the second time this morning, it's flown across the field to this group of trees lower down. So, uh, yeah, amazing. So uh, anyway, shh, because it should be due a fly up. So uh, couldn't be so lucky to get it twice, could I? Ooh. So I don't know what it is about Camilla and I at the moment, but we keep getting encounters with sparrowhawks. I mean, if you haven't checked out our secret hide video, oh, another unbelievable encounter with a sparrowhawk and uh, one literally posed absolutely beautiful so uh, yeah don't forget if you haven't watched secret uh, location wildlife photography um yeah i'll link to that one in the video amazing sparrowhawk encounter again so uh, yeah so uh, yeah lucky camilla and i because um well sparrowhawks well, you can get them in your back garden, linked to uh, a very lucky shot in the back garden. Perhaps come over and I should just make a sparrowhawk channel. Because, um, yeah, we have been quite lucky with sparrowhawks. Got a shot in the back garden. Had the um, Nikon D850 at the time. And I just put on my brand new Sigma 500mm f4 with 1.4 teleconverter and uh, yeah this was the shot amazing down the bottom of the garden and I'd literally only just set the camera up oh red kite overhead folks <laughs> sorry distracted yeah I'd only just set the camera up so uh, yeah amazing to uh, do a test shot out of the garden what a test shot Yeah, that red kite flew right overhead. Ooh. I've got get a bit of footage from it. I don't know how telegraph wires, but... Oh yeah, I'll get telegraph wires. Yeah, it's going down the valley. Oh, I'm getting this telegraph wires. Anyway, link to a shot where I didn't get telegraph wires. Yeah, nice. Yeah, it's just heading off down the valley. Probably just checking out the road for any road kill. Amazing. But that one flew directly overhead. Even while I was talking to you. Lovely. Oh, we do like our birds of prey here. What I've been trying to get today as well is a, uh, a pheasant shot with the frost behind it. Um, I almost got this shot right last year in this area. But um, anyway, link to last year's attempt at a pheasant in flight over a frosty field. Um, but it was slightly going away and I didn't quite like the look of the eye on the, uh, on the shot. But still quite nice, but uh, we're working on that. Ooh. Yeah, so settings today, folks. Oh, um, we're in our perch bird mode which is uh, 1 500th of a second, f5.6. 
and we're on two thousandths of a second Ooh, for birds in flight or any action if that sparrow hawk flies towards us for example and uh, we're wide open at f4 yeah just got a noisy couple of little dunnock in then um <clears throat> Yeah, so we're um, plus one on the compensation dial um, just to uh, increase the exposure a bit because it's a bit dull and um, with the uh, the frost um, just want to increase that exposure a bit so we're uh, plus one but uh, yeah, amazing hmm. I think there's a stone chap down there, I'm not sure What have we got? Well, I'm guessing the sparrowhawk is still down in this uh, group of trees at the moment. Yeah, quick flip you around. Show you what I mean. Yes, yeah, so we've got Camilla pointing towards this group of trees, which are, uh, yeah, down there in the hope that the sparrowhawk flies up. Well, I've already got some beautiful footage of some uh, roe deer in an absolutely spectacular start to the morning. 